Mabuhay Philippines! Welcome to Depet TV. My name is Sir Pao, your tech teacher in technology and livelihood education. Today, join me as we develop your life skills in Information and Communications Technology or ICT. For those watching us via Facebook Live, do not forget to post a picture of yourself while watching and use the hashtag I love TLE. Make sure that your post is public. Be ready. Get your pen, paper, and self-learning module, and let's begin our ICT journey. Welcome back, learners. In our last episode, we learned about computer system servicing hand tools. Hand tools are divided into four categories. First are the anti-ESD tools consisting of the anti-electrostatic mat and the anti-static strap. Second are the hand tools that include the screwdriver, crimping tool, wire stripper, soldering iron, wire cutter, and flashlight. Third are the cleaning tools. These are the lint-free cloth and the cable ties. And fourth is the diagnostic tool, which is the land tester. We also learn about the proper attitude that we must follow online. We called it netiquette. Netiquette means being polite and respectful at all times. Hope that our recap kept you on track because our next lesson will show you more interesting and helpful things which you could use in computer system servicing. So put down your cell phones, lend me your ears, and prepare your heart to listen. Grade 7 and 8, ready your pen, notebook, and module, for we are about to start. Let's have a game. Write 10 places where you can find computers. Time's up! Nowadays, you can find computers in many places, such as libraries, shopping malls, offices, stores, schools, factories, banks, homes, diagnostic laboratories, and even in outer space. Did you get the perfect 10? Very good! Learners, how has the computer changed your lives? Many scientific and technological advances marked the beginning of the 20th century. These advances include the inventions of the following. The airplane, the television, the radio, mobile devices, and most especially, the computer. Many of today's basic functions are being simplified by technology. Computers have been at the forefront in the development of innovations through its many functions. In this digital world, having the knowledge and skills in computer system servicing or CSS is the start and the most fundamental. Years ago, we used calculators to compute. It took some time to work with a large amount of numbers. But today, we use computers to solve billions of math problems. Before, we used a landline telephone to call our friends. But now, we use mobile phones to call anyone, anywhere. Long ago, we sent our mail to the post office. It took several days to receive. We call it snail mail. And now, we send messages through the computer via emails or messenger. It takes only a few seconds before they received. And in the olden times, we go to the library to look for information in books. But at present, we search information on the internet using different search engines and web browser. Search Engine is a program that enables the users to search for documents or information on the World Wide Web. A web browser is an application used to access Facebook, Deped TV on YouTube, and Deped Commons. Examples of web browsers are Google Chrome, Internet Explorer or Edge, Mozilla Firefox, Opera, and Safari. We use a web browser to access the search engines like Google.com, Yahoo.com, and Bing.com. How do we search for information on the internet? Number one, 
click a browser that you want to use. Chrome, Firefox, or Edge. Number two, type the search engine that you want to use in the web browser's address bar and press the Enter key. Number three, use the search tab or the address bar of your search engine to find information on the web. Have you used the computers inside your school's ICT laboratory? How do you use it? Did you use it to search for answers for your homework? Did you use it to edit pictures of your crush? Yee. Or did you use it for entertainment? No matter how you use it, a computer is an electronic machine that processes and stores information. It takes data using input devices, store it in its memory until it is ready to be processed in the processing unit, and sends out results using output devices. Input devices are the keyboard and mouse. Examples of processing devices are the memory and processor. For the storage device, we have the hard disks, and for the output devices, we have the monitor and the speakers. We will talk more about those devices later. Did you know that we have several types of computers? Yes, we do. And these are the supercomputer, the mainframe computer, the mini computer, and the microcomputer. Hey kids, do you want to join me on a field trip? Don't worry, you don't need a travel pass because you don't need to go out of your houses. Just stay there, sit back, and relax. Let's have a virtual field trip. Hi, we are here inside the International Space Station. One of our friends from the National Aeronautics Space Administration, or NASA, has allowed us to join them on their one-day trip to outer space. Hey, look out there! That is the Hubble Space Telescope. NASA uses this telescope as a research tool in observing stars, galaxies, and planets in our solar system. The Hubble Space Telescope is an example of a supercomputer. A supercomputer is used in research and exploration, weather forecasting, and nuclear weapon testing. Now, let's get back to Earth. Hello, we are here at the main branch of the ABC Bank. Did you know that all the banking information from the different ABC Bank branches is stored here? A server or a mainframe manages access to a centralized resource or service in a network. It means to say that when we go to any part of the Philippines, any ABC Bank can have access to our bank accounts. Banks, schools, and insurance companies use mainframe computers. Hello, Bulacan! I'm here at Dr. Felipe de Jesus National High School School's ICT Laboratory in Plata del Bulacan. These computers are an example of mini computers. It is a multi-user system where users can work on different computers simultaneously. Mini computers can be found inside your computer laboratory too. Each computer is connected via end computing device and powered by a single server or main computer. These computers are part of the DepEd or Department of Education's computerization project, Batch 33. Schools all over the Philippines are recipients of these computers. The DCP projects are the battle cry of the Department of Education's Digital Rice Program. The DepEd's Digital Rice Program provides multimedia resources such as laptops, tablets, computers, and televisions to be used by the learners in the schools. Thank you, Sir Efren M. Santiago, for allowing us to take a virtual visit to your school. Thank you as well to Sir Romy Boy Punumbayan for welcoming us inside your ICT laboratory. Whew! Did our virtual field trip tire you up? It was fun, right? Now, let's have a field trip inside your home. What are the gadgets you have at home? I'm giving you five seconds to search for it. Timer starts now. Time's up! 
What devices have you found? Did you find a cell phone? Did you find a laptop? Do you have a desktop computer? How about a tablet? Those are examples of microcomputers. The microcomputer is the cheapest kind of computer. It is designed for general use, such as entertainment, education, and work purposes. A computer system. A computer system is a collection of different parts that are designed to receive, process, manage, and present meaningful information format. It has three elements that make a computer very useful. And these elements are the hardware, software, and peopleware. These are the examples of hardware. The hardware components refer to the physical or tangible parts of the computer. They are the parts of the computer that you can feel by the sense of touch. Input devices are computer parts that accept data and instructions from the user or another computer system. Can you tell me the names of the following input devices? You have 3 seconds to answer. If your answer is keyboard, you are correct. The computer keyboard is used to enter characters and functions into the computer system by pressing buttons or keys. It is the primary input device used to enter text. Do you know what this is? Correct! It is a mouse. It is used to point and select objects on the computer monitor. An output device is any piece of computer hardware that displays results after the computer has processed the input data. Can you tell me the names of the following output devices? Again, you have 3 seconds to answer. Yes, this is a monitor. It is the primary output device that is similar to a TV screen. It displays pictures, numbers, and even shows your favorite movie or TV show. How about this one? Can you tell me what it is? Very good. It is a speaker system. Can you imagine watching your favorite movie without any sound? Weird, right? The speaker produces the sound coming from the computer. Speakers allow us to listen and enjoy favorite music or listen to the dialogue of your favorite actors and actresses in our favorite dramas. The process device is used to process data using instructions from the program. The examples of process devices are the motherboard and the CPU. A motherboard is the main circuit board of the computer. All computer hardware components are connected to it. Moreover, the CPU or the central processing unit is the brain and heart of the computer system. It performs all the instructions and calculations. Another hardware component is the storage device. It stores documents, videos, music permanently. Here are examples of the storage devices. They are hard disk drives, flash drives, and memory cards. The hard disk, also known as the hard drive, is the magnetic storage device that is installed inside the computer. The hard drive is used as a permanent storage for data. Are you familiar with these pictures? These are the pictures of the different programs that we can use in the computer. Computer programs or software is a collection of electronic instructions that tells the computer what to do. It has two types, the system software and the application software. Look at this example. The moment you open your computer, the computer software is already working. That software is called the operating system or OS. The operating system controls the operations of computer hardware and provides an environment or platform for all other types of software to work in. The example of an operating system is the Windows operating system. Many of us are familiar with using it. The latest model of the Windows operating system is the Windows 10. The counterpart of Windows is the Apple Macintosh. 
The application software is a computer program that performs a specific task. These are examples of application software. The most important part of the computer system is the peopleware. The peopleware refers to you, me, and all of us. Because without us, the computer cannot work on its own. Now that we learn different computer devices, classify the following computer parts by writing ID if it is an input device, PD if it is a process device, OD if it is an output device, and SD if it is a storage device. Write your answers in your TLE notebook. You only have 3 seconds to answer each item. Number 1. Mouse The answer is ID. It is an input device. Number 2. Printer The answer is OD. It is an output device. Number 3. Monitor The answer is OD. It is an output device. Number 4. USB flash drive. The answer is SD. It is a storage device. Number 5. Speaker. The answer is OD. It is an output device. Number 6. Hard disk drive. The answer is SD. It is a storage device. Number 7. Keyboard. The answer is ID. It is an input device. Number 8. Memory card. The answer is SD. It is a storage device. Number 9. Scanner. The answer is ID. It is an input device. Number 10. Microphone. The answer is ID. It is an input device. Did you ace the test learners? Amazing! Congratulations! Good job learners! Let's have a recap of what you have learned today. We have learned the different uses of the computer and what types of people are using them. We also learned the different types of computers such as the supercomputer, mainframe computer, microcomputer, and the mini computer. And lastly, we also learned about the elements of the computer system. The first one is the hardware. Hardware includes input devices, output devices, process devices, and storage devices. The second one is the software, which includes the system software and the application software. And lastly, the peopleware. They are the most important element of the computer system. Always remember that technology was created to make our lives easier and make us become productive. Don't be a slave of technology, okay? Always obey your parents and limit your screen time. I hope you had fun studying Computer System Servicing, Components of the Computer System Part 1. For our next lesson, we will continue to discover and learn the components of a computer system in Part 2. You can still watch the replay of this episode on YouTube. Just search for Deped TV Official. Have fun! Once again, I am your techie teacher, Sir Pao, saying quality education will be achieved when one is eager to learn and is innovative. In TLE, there is life. This is Deped TV. Hashtag, I love TLE.